Hi, and welcome to Our Small Table. Today we're making a simple vanilla ice cream to test out the Cuisinart Automatic Frozen Yogurt Ice Cream and Sorbet Maker. Here's our finished dish. Let's see how we got here. I normally don't do videos that require specialty equipment, but this is kind of an unboxing video because it's going to be using an item that I just got as a gift for the first time. You can do this part with a hand mixer and it's, it'll be faster than using a whisk, but I don't, what gets used has to be washed and I don't feel like washing my hand mixer. It's also much too loud to do on camera. So I'm just whisking together the whole milk and the sugar as well as a pinch of salt and you want to whisk or mix this together until the sugar is dissolved. And since that's going to take me a little bit with the whisk, I'll go ahead and complete it off camera and be right back. Okay, sugar is completely dissolved, so we're going to pour in our heavy cream, which is also called double cream in some places. This is very simplified vanilla ice cream recipe. We're not making a custard, obviously. And pure vanilla extract. And that is all the preparation that's necessary. This mixture is going to go into the fridge for an hour or two. I could leave it overnight if I wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and finish it today. And then we'll move on to trying out the ice cream maker itself. Okay, it's been a couple of hours. I went ahead and moved the liquid into this measuring cup just because it's easier to pour with the spout. So we're going to go ahead and start using the ice cream maker now. This freezer bowl has been in the freezer overnight. So we just place it on the base, put the mixing paddle into the center, and put the lid on until it's locked in place. Turn it on. and pour in the ingredients. And we're gonna leave this to churn for 15 to 20 minutes. And we'll be back when that is completed. Okay, I let this churn for 17 minutes. So let's see what we've got should be the consistency of what is basically soft serve and that looks like exactly what we have. Let's go ahead and give it a test. It really is very good. It's creamy and has a good vanilla flavor. If you want a firmer consistency, what some regions call hard ice cream and what other areas just consider to be regular ice cream, you just want to stick this into the freezer for a couple of hours, but not in this freezer canister that you mixed it in. You have to transfer it to another container with a lid and clean this part and refreeze it. So I think that this is very successful and I'm pleased with the results. I'll keep on trying some other recipes and some other flavors, but I think that this Cuisinart ice cream maker, the information is in the video description, will work out quite well. So we're going to get this cleaned up a little bit and be right back. And that's all there is to it. A simple small batch homemade vanilla ice cream with the Cuisinart ice cream maker and I'm going to give this review a thumbs up, a success. Thanks for joining me at Our Small Table. The recipe we've used is linked in the video description and is available at OurSmallTable.com. I'm not sure what we're making next time so if you want to join in you'll have to check back.